Welcome to Return to Athens. Today we shuffle off for shuttlecock and a swim superstar. At the Badminton World Championships, an important lead up to Athens, fifth seed Jua Zhuanze of China faced Chung Han Wong of Malaysia. The Chinese player dominated the opening game, winning at 15 points to six. Again, Jia seemed to be in charge when leading 12-9 in the second, but Wong fought back to level at 13 apiece, eventually taking the set to level the match one game all. It was nip and tuck in the decider until six all, when Jia slowly gained control to clinch the title on his second match point in a thrilling 80 minute final. But our medal predictions for 2004 favour another Chinese player, Hong Chen, to take the gold medal. The silver medal should go to Kenneth Jonasson from Denmark. And although he missed being world champion, Chun Han Wong for the bronze. The final of the women's singles was an all-Chinese affair with defending champion Gung Rowena, who was seeded fourth, taking on second seed Ning Zhang. In the first game, Zhang found her rhythm. She took control quickly and won the opener 11-6. Gong Rowena had no answers in the second set, managing just three points as Zhang, who along the way claimed the scalp of another world champion, Camilla Martin of Denmark, deposed the reigning champion 11-6, 11-3. To our predictions for the women's event, and it's hard to go past Ning Zhang to take out top spot on the Olympic podium. And once again, the silver medalist looks like being Gong Rowena. Experience should enable Camilla Martin to capture the bronze medal. To catch badminton at the Games, you'll need to book a seat at the Goody Olympic Hall competition takes place on the first eight days of the Games. The tickets are very reasonably priced, with ticket costs varying between just 10 and 30 euros. News on Alexander Popov, who was on top of the world in Barcelona again, 11 years after he won Olympic gold in the same pool. With media attention taken off him, Popov was simply able to focus on his racing. I was very fortunate because all the pressure was on the other guys. If you remember what, who was shown on the television, there was Ian Thor, Peter Van der Hoogen, but I was in the shadow, you know, and that, that really helped me. And rumours have now surfaced that Australian Ian Thorpe has asked the Russian to become his personal coach after the Games. I don't think I'm ready for that kind of step yet. I don't think I'm ready because Ian is he's, uh, he's one of the key swimmers in, out there in the, in the world of swimming. And, um, you know, to take such a responsibility, you know, I'm not prepared to take as an athlete and, and as a coach. After this surging return to the pool, Popov would not be drawn into making any medal predictions for the 2004 Athens Olympics. You know, there's still more than 12 months to go, so a lot can happen. But you can be sure that his younger opponents will be keeping an eye on this elder statesman of the pool come Athens next August. Before we leave you, a Games fact. When Alexander Popov repeated his 1992 Olympic gold medal performance in the 100 metres freestyle, he joined Johnny Weismuller, 1924 and 1928, and Hawaiian Duke Kanhana Moku, 1912 and 1920, as the only men to win the race twice. So remember to keep watching Return to Athens as we bring you the latest in the behind-the-scenes news and views in the lead-up to Athens 2004.